In SimCenter FEMAP 2022.1, there's a new option to monitor your analysis. The way you can do this is, is you first have to set up your model, and then once you have your analysis type created, you can simply edit the solution options. From here, you go down to the solution monitor, and then you change it to the launch SimCenter Nastrans solution monitor. Once you have your analysis set up, you can then analyze the solution and the SimCenter Nastrand solution monitor will come up. Once the SimCenter Nastrand solution monitor comes up, you'll see that the analysis will start. It'll say the solver has started. In this case, this is a 402 solution, so you will have a solution 402 tab. This will show the different time steps requested in the analysis and the iterations it takes for each time step. Here you can see as the monitor goes through and gets ready to prepare the time steps, it says here, it says uh, sending mesh to solution control monitor. So you can then open the solution control monitor and see the mesh of the model or a preview of it here. After the results have been completed and the analysis has been completed, you can then go to the result type and change it to displacement magnitude. And then you can see the displacement of the model. You can then capture this image by using the view options here. Here you can see that the first time step has completed with 10 iterations. You can see that the time step has been completed as it says time step accepted. Now the next time step will start. Here you can see now that the time steps have been completed based on how many time steps were requested in the analysis. If I go back to solution 402, we can then see the time steps five out of five have been completed. We can then go over to the solution control monitor and now we can see the displacement magnitude. If we switch back over to the SimCenter Nastrand tab, you will see that the solution will finish momentarily. Here you can see now that the Solution 402 has finished successfully. It says the solution is completed. Do you want to review all the messages now? So you simply select yes. And now you can review the time steps in the Solution 402 tab, and then FEMAP will output those output sets to uh, the results here. So then we can go back to the Solution Control Monitor if we want to. We can export an image. There's also a couple options for graphs. We can look at the contact material status. We can look at the convergence and energy such as we can go to the convergence here, we can look at the time steps, the time step size, the number of iterations it takes to converge the model, and then in convergence criteria, we can see the force, energy, and displacement, and then the number of iterations it took. So now we can go ahead and exit the solution monitor and now we can just go ahead and post process those results. I already have my output vector set. This one has beams in it, so it also has the beam ends in here as well as the solid von Mises stresses. We can show the contour, we can deform the model, and then we can also animate. So that is how you can use the new SimCenter Nastrand Solution Monitor to monitor your analysis.